Hey, Chris Gibson from Icon Collective here. We're going to have a look at using drum racks, which is a really powerful tool for creating your own drum sounds. So you can see here I have a MIDI track. On this MIDI track, I've created a blank drum rack. I've then populated this drum rack with samples of my choosing. The first thing I started with was a sub. When I was playing this on my laptop speakers, I realized the sub was too low in frequency to actually be heard. I then went ahead and layered it with a top kick. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here's the sub by itself. Just quite low and boomy. And here's the top kick by itself. Nice and punchy. You can actually create layers by making an instrument rack by simply holding down command whilst dragging one sample on top of another. If we open up S and R, which stand for send and return, I can affect individual samples within my drum rack. Furthermore, if I hit the triangle here next to the track title, I open up a mini mixer, which gives me a more traditional view of track levels, pan positions, and sends. Here's the clap without any effects on it. So what I've done is put a reverb and a simple delay down here in my returns within my drum rack. Now I'm able to send either all or a portion of my clap to that effect. We have a much more interesting sound now by giving it a touch of verb in delay. Furthermore, if we select chains by holding down shift and then hitting command G, we actually group them so we can process them all together. I've done this with my hi-hats and I've called the chain symbols. At the end of the chain, I've decided to put an EQ8 to kind of roll off the low frequency. Here's what it sounds like without it. And I quite like the sound of the hi-hat sounding a bit thinner and allowing more power for the kick and the snare drum. So at the end, when it's time to mix our tune, it might be beneficial to actually extract a chain from our drum rack for further processing. Let's have a look at doing that. So if I simply control click the chain called kicks and choose extract chains, it builds me a new MIDI track with all the clip information pertaining to my kicks. So we're actually able to take a particular effect and insert it onto a sample within our drum rack. For instance, I'm going to take a redux and put it onto my clap. So those are some great techniques when working in Live 9's drum rack. I hope you found this informative and thanks a lot for watching.